All right. Hey, everyone. It's February 16th, the year 2017. And um, I got a letter today from the Customs and Border Patrol. I'm going to document this whole situation. Uh, if you're interested in it, you can listen to the whole video. Uh, I am going to read the six-page letter at some point. I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as I can. But I want you guys to be aware of some things. And I don't, I'm not here to, like, whine and act as a victim. That's not something I do. I am an overcomer by the blood of Jesus Christ. I walk around as a mighty child of a living God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And so, but if you stand up for truth in the society that we live in, uh, the Bible says you will have tribulation. If they hated our master Jesus, they certainly will hate us. And uh, we have innocent men in prison all over this country. And every time I turn around, uh, I got something happening where the government's trying to set me up or people calling me with all kinds of weird situations. You know, the FBI has been, uh, FBI and U.S. Marshals have been to my front door. I got, uh, they tried to interview me when I went down to Florida. I, I told them I would not interview without a camera. Uh, that was the FBI. I've had a $25,000 bill from the Internal Revenue Service that I told them they would have to kill me if they want to collect that because that was a complete fraud. That was in the days of Lois Lerner where they were targeting Tea Party Patriots. Um, uh, what's the ICE, uh, Immigrations Customs Enforcement, um, sent a, sent a letter to my work and said that I was part of a random citizenship audit. And if I didn't show my birth certificate, that, uh, I would have to be fired from my job. Uh, of course the secret service came out to my house, uh, that got over a hundred, 200,000, uh, views. And so, uh, the list just keeps going on and on and on, right? Uh, they threw brought my friend, Bryce Matthew Quellar back in jail He's back in jail right now, uh, and Bryce Matthew Quellar said that the cops within Las Vegas, as part of his uh, parole board, were bad mouthing Aaron and I, saying we were trying to, uh, you know, screw with everybody's mind. So uh, I'm sure there are people that hold positions within our government that hate me uh, very much, and I don't really care. It doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, like I said, I serve a mighty living God, who uh, I'm going to put my complete and full trust in. But I opened the letter today. I want to share with you guys a story and share what's happened. It really made me mad. Uh, I just, every time I turn around, I can't get away from this government overreach and government intrusion into our life. But here's the backdrop of the story, right? Um, you guys know that I'm a geocentrist. We even had Robertson Jennis, who produced the movie, um, I said, Are You Significant? The Principal, right? ThePrincipalMovie.com. And he came out and gave a, I think, a one or two hour lecture out at Pastor Broden's church, and we uh, invited everybody to come listen. We recorded the whole thing, and we put it up on YouTube. So uh, Robertson Jennis, I consider a friend. I consider him, even though he's Catholic, right? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't just consider somebody an enemy because they don't believe like I do. I have very passionate beliefs when it comes to the King James Bible being the perfect Word of God. I'm not a fan of Catholicism, but, you know, there's some Catholics that might make their way into heaven if they put Jesus first, right? If they accept Jesus as their Savior for their sins. So, that's between Roberts and Jenna and God, right? Uh, but he is Catholic, but he also tells a lot of truth. I would say that he is the world's foremost uh, scientific person on the subject of geocentrism. Well, anyway, you guys know I'm a geocentrist. Well, I have some friends who are very passionate about flat earth. They're not only geocentrist, which is basically the statement or the belief that the earth is stationary, does not revolve every 24 hours, it doesn't go around the sun. But, uh, you know, that's geocentrism, right, which I am a strong advocate for. I am completely convinced. Uh, I think it's First Chronicles 1630, the world is established that it cannot be moved. Psalms 93.1, Psalms 96.10, Joshua 10.13 makes it very clear that the earth is stationary, right? So I am all for a stationary earth. When it comes to flat earth, I haven't really made my mind up. I would say I'm not a flat earther at this point in time. But I'm open, right? I'm open to, uh, you know, I'm open to understanding what the Bible has to say about that. And one of the things that uh, the Bible says hundreds of times, and you guys might have picked up on this on my on my um, scripture scripture that I've been uploading, is it talk, there's hundreds of verses that talk about the sun rising and the sun setting, and the moon rising and the moon setting. And so, in a flat Earth, you don't have that. You just have the sun uh, circling a flat Earth. And it never rises or sets. It just moves away and moves back, moves towards you, right? So, again, I'm not completely ruling out flat earth, but I don't consider myself a flat earther. But I'm not completely shut the door on it yet. Well, anyway, 
Okay, so I got some friends that are very passionate flat earthers. That's fine, right? We still get along. We sit down and have dinner. We don't like, uh, you know, knock each other's teeth out. You know, people can disagree and still be friends, right? No problem. Well, anyway, here's one of the videos that I, I watched. It's called Stephen Hawking Fakes Experiments in Attempts to Prove the Globe. It's got 66,497 views. Uh, basically, they take a laser. This guy named Geranism, he takes a laser and shoots it over four to six miles, I forget the exact number, of lake, right? It's got to be water, right? It's got to be water because, um, you know, water will settle uh, itself to a particular level. Um, and so the goal is if you go across four to six miles of water, does the, does the laser beam rise or does it stay exactly? Let's say, let's say that you initiated the laser beam at three foot above the water and you go six miles out. Does the laser beam hit the other side of the shore at three foot above the water or does it rise 15 feet? Matter of fact, here is an earth curvature calculator. I'll zoom in so you can guys see. There's what's called the eye height, which I'll put at three feet and then we'll say a target distance of say six miles and calculate. You guys see that? So according to uh, this, if you go, uh, if you start out at three feet and you go six miles, the target hidden height, which is H1, right? H1 would be this right here down here, should be 10 feet. It shouldn't stay at three feet, right? If the earth is curved. If you go eight miles and hit calculate, so if you can shoot a laser beam eight miles, that laser beam should go up 23 feet, right? You got, you guys got this right here, 23 feet, right? And so it's a fairly easy test and that's what was done in this video. Now, the Discovery Channel, led by Stephen Hawkins, and I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards he might be dead, and they're probably using Stephen Hawkins as some sort of puppet to propagate their lying agenda. But the Discovery Channel said they did the test, and they say the laser beam did rise, right? Geranism does a very good job at debunking the entire Discovery episode. Well, the bottom line is, folks, I don't trust anybody. Jeremiah 17.5 is my... Uh, is my life first? Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. I want to run the test myself. You know, I happen to know of a few lakes in Texas, and I've got, I want to get a laser beam, and I was going to run the test myself because I got some friends that are passionate about the issue on one side. I got some friends that are passionate about the issue on the other side. So I thought, well, I'll just run the dang test myself. I don't have to trust Stephen Hawkins, and I don't have to trust Jer Jeronism. Now, I've never heard Jeronism talk about the blood of Jesus Christ or being a Christian, so just because... Just because Jaronism said something don't mean I believe it. You know, I don't know that he's a Christian. And uh, it's not clear to me from reading the Bible that the earth is flat. It does talk about the four corners. But at the same time, you can say you searched all the corners of the woods. It doesn't mean the woods has corners. It just means that you searched thoroughly the woods. And uh, like I said, there's plenty of verses that talk about the sun rising and the sun setting, which in a flat earth, the sun does not rise and the sun does not set. So you say, Rudy, where are you going with this? You know, we'll get to the point. Okay, the point is that video is run by two different folks. One is the Discovery Channel and one is the Jaronism team. They claim they shot a laser over a lake and they come to two different results. So I wanted to do the test myself, right? I'm going to get a laser. I'm going to do the test myself. So I went to biglasers.com. Okay, hold on just one second. Give me, get, give me just a second. All right, I went to biglasers.com, and I bought this laser right here. It comes in this box. You guys see that? And I got it. This is it. The only problem is I burn it up. I didn't realize it said duty. When I bought this thing, it said duty cycle. It's It said duty cycle uh, continuous. It said you can run this thing uh, as long as you want. You don't have to worry about burning out the laser. Okay, so... Uh, I did that, and the very first day I got it, first of all, mine didn't come with a key, you know, this Chinese crap, right? But uh, it burnt the laser out. And so I called the big lasers back, and I said, hey, the laser stopped working after the first, you know, five minutes. He said, you can't leave it on for more than 90 seconds. I said, that's not what your technical specs say. You guys see this down here? It says uh, duty cycle, 90 seconds. Now, when I bought the laser... It said continuous. The reason it says 90 seconds right now is because I called and complained. And they said they would change their website. When I bought the laser, uh, it said continuous. And this is a GX5 laser. I want you guys to notice the price too. Right? The price is $197. I 
I paid $200 for this laser. I paid uh, extra money for shipping, right? Comes all the way from China. Okay, and I'm my, it, you also keep in mind this thing says it goes um, 28,000 meters, right? If you go calculate 28,000 meters into miles, that's plenty. It's definitely over eight miles. It's you know, so the laser range. The, the, the only thing you got to worry about is it's called co-illumination. It starts out at the size of a pencil eraser, and as the laser goes mile after mile, it, it can't get so big that you can't see it. It's got to stay at a dot, right? It's got to stay at a dot so that uh, you can see the laser on the other side of the lake, eight miles away. Okay, so that's my plan. I bought the laser. Uh, I burned up the first one. I called the company back in China, and they said, we'll send you another one. Okay, well, this is my tracking right here. You guys see this? Look at this. It says uh, uncontrollable clearance delay. I was like, what's going on? That's, it's been in freaking delay for like um, over a week now. Okay, so... Um, I got this letter. I'm going to read it. Uh, it appears that customs, not only have I been attacked by the IRS, not only have I been attacked by the U.S. Marshals, not only have I been attacked by the FBI, not only have I been attacked by Immigration's Customs Enforcement, right? Uh, now I've been attacked by Customs and Border Patrol, right? Let's read the letter that they sent me uh, regarding my replacement laser so I can run this stupid test and figure out if the earth is flat or not. Okay, Custo uh, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, notice of seizure and information to claimants, non-CAFRA form. It's to Rudy Davis. I, I blocked out my home address. They have my case number. Dear sir and madam, this is to notify you and the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, U.S. Food and Drug Administration, seized the property described below at the point of Cincinnati, Ohio, on February the 8th, 2017. One laser pointer. So they seized my laser pointer. You guys see that? And it says, the appraised domestic value of the shipment was determined to be $49.32. That's a big joke. I paid $197. And, and uh, it's a 500-watt laser, and it's supposed to go several miles. Okay? So, uh, now I got the U.S. government stealing my crap. It's, it's, like, it's just insane. I hate the United States government. Let me say that again so you can use this in a small clip later uh, when you guys want to make little clips and make fun of me. I hate... The United States government. I absolutely hate them. Throughout my entire life, they've never done anything positive. Every single time I've encountered any of their agents, it's always been negative. I've, I haven't been to the doctor in 30 years because I, it's not that I haven't been to hospitals. And I've been through the death of many a friend and many a family member. And I have seen the death rattle of my friends and family. I've been there when they've died. And I've seen the death rattle. And I've seen what hospitals do with chemotherapy, radiation, and mastectomies. And I've seen what government subsidized hospitals do. I've seen what government agents do. And I hate it. I hate, I hate it what you guys are doing to our society. And you're, you've killed uh, my family members. You've murdered them with government subsidized hospital. Uh, you murdered my dad when I took him to the hospital for just a small case of constipation and back trouble. Let's, you know, but I'm getting off topic. I was going to talk about lasers, you know, but now that now they've stolen my $200 laser and they claim it's only worth $49. The property was seized and is subject to forfeiture under the provisions of Title 19, United States Code, Section 1595A, C, as it was determined to be in violation of Title 7, United States Code, Section 1360, Title 21, United States Code, Section 381, and Title 19, Code of Federal Regulations, Part 12, 110 is. Isn't that freaking wonderful? They can quote all that title and section and, and United States Federal Code to me, but they can't get over a forged birth certificate from a foreigner fatwa faggot president. They can't. They can't get. They can't even get through a simple situation that we got a foreigner faggot fatwa president who put out a forged birth certificate, but they can throw at me all of this United States federal code as they steal my property. The laser is also in violation of FDA section 536A for failure to report, and this is also goes exactly along with them going after uh, Pastor uh, Wally Drake. Right, they're gone after Pastor Wally Drake, and they're trying. They shut down his homeless ministry. They're making him uh, out to be breaking international code violations. Now they're doing the same thing to me. The Title Twenty One Code of Federal Regulations, ten ten dot three a one and ten ten three a two, labeling information in Title Twenty One Code of Federal. Why didn't they catch us on the first laser they sent? I guarantee you, there's some people in government that got my name on the list. But you guys that got my name on the list, your name's on the list. 
And I'm going to say that again. You guys think I'm a little, you guys think I'm a little over the top. God has your name on the list. God sees everything that you do and every wicked action. And you guys in the counterterrorism unit in Virginia, you think you're protecting America from domestic terrorists? You guys are wicked and evil, and there's a special place in hell for every one of you. A special place in hell for every one of you for what you're doing. All the trouble you're causing. The laser product is considered a significant public health hazard because of the risk they pose in causing eye damage and burns. Lasers are prohibited in the United States. Oh, really? You know, this big lasers, they sell lasers to the United States all the time. I, I talked to customer service. It wasn't unusual for me to be, be buying a laser for, uh, from the United States. I happen to think that you probably targeted my name. Uh, you got my name on a list. And, and old, is Donald Trump going to fix all this? Is Donald Trump going to free the Bundys? Is Donald Trump going to, um, you know, hold the murderers of Lavoie Finicum uh, responsible? Is, is Donald Trump going to stop abortion? Is Donald Trump going to... Um, you know, put Hillary Clinton in jail? Is Donald Trump going to hold uh, Obama responsible for putting out a forged birth certificate? Donald Trump got in front of a bunch of veterans and said Obama was born in America. Do you think anything's changed? <coughs> the facts available to the Customs and Border Patrol indicate that you might have an interest in the seized property. You think I spent $200 on it? The purpose of this letter is to advise you of the options available to you concerning this seizure. An important document and election of proceedings form is enclosed, with, cl enclosed within this letter. You must choose one of the options outlined below. Indicate your choice on the election of proceedings form and return it and any other necessary documents to CBP within the allotted time frame. You should choose to abandon the property. You must still complete the election, election of proceeding form and return it to CBP. So they're sending me a form telling me that I have to return it even if I abandon the property, your, op your options are as follows. You know, they'll let a judge with a, with a pedophile prosecutor use, use testimony from a known pedophile, but they're going to come after me because I bought a laser from China. This is the most insane government we've ever had. I, you know, you know it, it really is difficult for me to maintain my temper. But let me say that I pray death and destruction on every wicked, evil bastard in government. That, that, that's part of this whole big system. My first option is to petition. I'm not going to read all that crap. My second option is to offer and compromise. Well, I don't compromise. I don't, I don't even like the name of that one. Three is to abandon. Number four is court action. Yeah, like I'm going to sue you uh, and spend $5,000 on a $200 laser. Take no action. Oh, that's an option, isn't it? Release of payment. You guys just stole my crap. Just, you know, I was going through the, the TSA one time, and I had a drill on me. It did not have any drill bits, but I had to make it into the plane. It was in my carry-on, and they made, me, uh, uh, they made me dump the drill in the trash can because I, if, otherwise I'd be late for my flight, and I wouldn't make it back to Dallas. So they stole my drill. Now they're stealing my laser. Every time I turn around, oh, let's get the name of this person, Tessie Douglas. Tessie Douglas, I pray that... Because you are, uh, you are participating in the theft of my property, I pray that God deal with you appropriately, just like everybody else. The whole world is full of government Nazi thugs that don't have any sort of moral compass. You don't have any problem with stealing, with your, uh, stealing from your federal, uh, fellow Americans. You know, you didn't have a problem with the first laser when it came through, but now you're going to have a problem with the second laser because somebody put my name on the list. Hey, Tessie, hey, Tessie, I pray that whatever you value, what, something that you value and that you've worked hard and that you paid for, I pray that uh, it get destroyed and that uh, the people that destroy it have no mercy, they have no compassion, uh, they don't really care that you lost your valuable, they just steal your stuff and uh, they'll say, well, it's for the better good, you know. Okay. Well, you know, I was going to try to run this test. I've been talking to my friends. We've been trying to identify spots around the lake to run the test. But uh, now it's going to be harder without a laser. I've sent, a, I've sent an email off to Geranism because I don't know if he's in America. I assume he is. I asked Geranism, what laser did you use? And maybe you guys can help me reach out to Geranism. I said, what laser did you use and where did you get your laser? Because um, I can't get a laser. I tried to buy one from Big Lasers and they won't send it to me. And uh, Dranism, uh, I think it's Dranism at Yahoo.com, he did not reply. So, um, 
You know, I don't know what laser Duran has amused. You know, if do you guys have a, a, any any advice? I, I I'm not really interested in throwing away more money if if the government's going to take all my crap. Oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I don't like to be in a bad mood all the time. I like to be cheerful and you know uplifting and encouraging and you know let's have a beautiful day. The weather's nice. It's just when you see all this crap all the time, man. It's like it just puts you in a bad mood, <laughs> you know. But I'm not gonna go go around as a victim. I'm not a victim. You guys are the bad guys. I'm just gonna keep exposing you. I'm gonna keep talking about you. And uh, you guys are the wicked, evil bastards on a fast train to hell, right? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just an American citizen trying to promote liberty, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, free speech, freedom of religion. And uh, you guys are the evil bastards, you know, and uh, I think most people see you for what you are.